Hello, you crazy VR-loving kids. Welcome to Platform 32. My name's Ian Higton, and this is another VR live stream. Yeah, I've started doing VR live streams regularly. Uh, I was going to dig into my big box of VR games, but uh, I did notice that uh, a new demo had come out for a brand new game on the PlayStation VR called Eden Tomorrow. I know nothing about Eden Tomorrow. I don't even know when the actual game is due out. So I thought, well, do you know what? Let's try out a demo for a brand new upcoming PlayStation VR game. And see if it's any good. See what the future holds for PlayStation VR owners. Will it be good? Will it be poop? Who knows? I have, the furthest I've got is this menu screen and turning the music down a little bit. Hope everyone's okay. Just going to listen to the audio quickly. The mic does sound a little bit quiet compared to the game, doesn't it? Hello, hello. Let's bring that up to 90. Hello. And let's bring the game audio down a bit. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. Hey, Doggy. Hey, Vandal. Uh, before I jump into this VR game, let's do a little hello to everyone. AJ, Alexis at Lamp for 3 a.m. Brilliant. Anmal Agawal, Nike, uh, Fruit Bat, Doggy Rose Pro Gamer, Dragon Botherer, Emma Benton, Epizo, and Hebrew Hammer. Isabel CW1, Jewel Bulls, Kate Lily Longhorn, Macrasa, Philip Ekstrom, Reckless Rex, Castaway DC, and Vandal. Yeah, that sounds a bit better. That sounds a bit better. As per usual, um, all my comments are over there on a laptop, so I don't. It doesn't interfere. Like the laptop doesn't block my vision camera, so uh, unfortunately, I won't be able to read too many comments as per usual. But uh, we'll um, we'll manage. We'll manage. You lot are just going to have to entertain each other while I fumble around in VR. So yeah, hope everyone's well. All 63 of you, welcome, welcome. Let's see how I can do in Eden tomorrow. Like I said, I've got no idea what this is about. So uh, it looks like, controls-wise, um, uh, looks like controls-wise, there's, um, it's only, con it's only dual shock, no move controllers or anything like that. Uh, how do I start this? Back. Play, credits, play. Actually, let's have a quick look at the credits, see who made this. I don't even know who made this game. This has come out of nowhere for me. Uh, I thought I normally thought it was quite switched on with PlayStation VR stuff, but I don't know. This is made by Solpix. Frank Senholz, Nils Deckenthin. No, I'm sorry. Never, never, never heard of this studio. Um, first impressions, like even without getting out of the menu, is this reminds me of one of the first games I played on the PlayStation VR, which was, um, oh, I can't remember it now. It's like a space game where you're on Mars and you walk around and you move, you use your move controllers and stuff. Uh, I can't remember what it was called though. Slot one, we're going to give it a go. Genesis. Press X to continue. At least that was a nice quick load. Vital signs critical. Preparing adrenaline injection. I don't... Warning. Wait, what? It's very dark. Adrenaline injection ready. Where's that gonna go? Cryopod malfunction detected. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Adrenaline administered. Vital signs yeah, acceptable. That certainly Initiating works. Initiating cryopod lockdown. Cryopod malfunction. Cryopod lockdown there successful. Lights are on. Cognitive function test starts now. I've been in a now. lot of cryopods in VR. Look left. Okay, looked left. Look right. Look right. There you go. Just gotta wait for it to tell me what to do. What's this here? Look down. I am. I mean, so far, I've got function test successful. a full body, which is nice. Initiating inner capsule opening. Um, graphics seem like they're pretty good as well, which is inner nice. Inner capsule opening successful. 
I'll open your inner capsule. Oh, things have gone wrong. Terribly, terribly wrong. Outer capsule damage detected. Ooh. Structural damage detected. Attempting to fix it manually. Are we falling? I think we might be falling. How's about you close that door? Ball. Outer oh, no. capsule damage detected. Oh no. Oh, 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 yeah, we're definitely falling Outer down. Outer capsule state is critical. Yeah. Pressure level critical. This Open isn't going to help me capsule. have a soft landing, is it? Ooh. Okay. That all came out. Excellent, excellent drop pod opening there. Ooh, I guess it crashed. Hey, Vicky Warren. It's a little wee destiny ghost, says Dragon Botherer. Greetings from Tassie, also, says Sulla47. Hello, Sulla. All right. Fall of the Rebel Angels. Well, we definitely fell down there, so I guess I'm a rebel angel. I like that idea. I'm a rebel angel. Um, ow, 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 ow. Uh, black and white again. Don't jab me with another spiky thing, huh? Ooh. My hand. Ooh. My face in my hand. Okay, here we go. Color came back to my vision without the need to be jabbed in the chest, which is nice. Look up! Oh my god! That's cool. He's a big lad. You're a big lad. What are you doing, big lad? Are you my friend? I'll be your friend. Oh god, no, he's not my friend. Stuck! Press the red button in front of you. Okay. As fast as you can. Smashy, smashy. Quick, quick time me the fuck out of here, mate. Damn, that was close. I wasn't sure if that worked. Maybe a little bit, um, Robinson's, what's it called? This Robinson's journey as well. This attacked us during the crash. Oh, no. You look pretty roughed up. Can you hear me? I if yes, can. nod your head so I know that you understand me. Great. Welcome back, by the way. Hi. My name is, actually, I have no idea. Oh. I fell on your head earlier, like an apple. So how about you call me Newton? And I also have no idea where we are, nor oh. why. My mission log has been destroyed and... Not very useful, are you, Newton? These tremors just keep getting worse. We have to get out of here before everything collapses. There's just one problem. My automatic navigation system has also been completely destroyed. Put simply, also, I'm you stuck in here. have to take control of me, which my security system only allows in a safe zone. Do you see that ring in front of you? Yes. You have to go in there and activate the shield. You want if me to climb inside your ring? Have you understood everything so far? Nod your head up and down for a yes, yes sir. or shake your head back and forth no, I get for it. no. I get it. Good. Then let's go. Let's do this little ball bag. I mean little ball. Ah, fuck it. Little ball bag. Okay. Here we go. Alright, so we've got smooth move, smooth turn. Turn's pretty slow. Let's see if I can increase my turn. Maybe it's that, maybe it needs to be up that way. Oh. oh yeah, there we go, that's better. Press X to activate Very the good. shield. You're now protected and can take over my controls. Awesome. Press triangle to switch After to YouTube. Look at me. It could me. be that you become sick to your stomach pretty easily. So you can make my field of view smaller if you want. No, I'm fine, mate. I like how they've uh, cool, they put right? VR sickness into the story there, though. You in my head. Uh, system. Okay, we're going to look for your control module so that you can scan and analyze your surroundings. I'm okay. also able to scan things. So how first things first. Oh. Let's try that. Out. Scan. Great. Let's try my AR vision out next. Then you'll see things a lot more clearly. 
total Wonderful. AR video. Now things look completely different. I can, well, we can recognize energy signatures this way. Objects for you are highlighted orange. And for me, they're Glad highlighted blue. Say Maybe your control module is under this blue marked capsule fragment. If my shockwave works and is strong enough, we should try blasting it out of the wall. Focus on the object that you want to reach with the shockwave. Uh, is it this thing? Hold R2 to charge shockwave. It wasn't that. Was that no. Or that. Just guessing here. Yes, the control module box is over oh. there. Very good. Now oh. bring it immediately over to you. Pick up with switch X. back to you now. And switch back to me. Cool. Deactivate sure. Pretty simple so far. Graphically, it looks pretty nice. It's not bad. Oh, I thought he was going to propose to me then. Okay, hold your head still so I can install the module. Ooh, now you tickled. <laughs> okay, you've already practiced with mine, but let's see if your scanner still works. Okay. Circle to scan. Yes! Luckily, your scanner still works. Nice. Now let's try your AR vision out. Our vision. Great. Everything works. Just for your information, we are connected by a neural network. I can Sweet. see and hear everything that you experience. Objects for you are highlighted orange. And you for me, they're highlighted orange. blue. Blue, I didn't say poo. Do you not know where we are or why, but I am trying to restore my mission memory. Roar, mission memory. Unfortunately, everything is destroyed except for this one fragment. But I have no information about what our task is. No. We will find out when we are there. I hope. I do too. We are here. Yes. And we have to go there. I cannot say exactly how far away, but I'm afraid that it's our only chance. You'll need fluids very soon, and our goal seems to be some sort of pumping system. So maybe there's water there. One more reason to find a way out of this cave more quickly. We should test this out. But first, we've got to quickly get out of here. If a monster like that gets in here, we're dead. Let's look around for a way out. Okay, yeah, let's look around for a way out indeed. But first, you look much healthier this? in this photo oh. than you do now. What a lovely family snap. Now what do I do? I just I just, I'm still holding Oh, no, I think I just put it up my bum. Whoopsie. How's everyone doing? I've already been married once in to get greedy. Oh, okay. The floating ball bag reminds me of something says Anmol. I wonder, I wonder. Bet see if thieves would be amazing in VR, says Emma Benton. Yeah, I bet it would. That'd be awesome. All right, here we go. What are we doing? Where are we going? I think I was supposed to follow ball bag, wasn't I? There's my AR vision. Nothing there. I wasn't listening to him. Use the scanner I'm to afraid search for the... that is ah. our only way out. Yeah, we have to go. get through there somehow, but my shockwave won't reach. No. We need a booster, but for that, we need to get out. Uh oh. Hey, what was that? Look, a rock came loose. That could be our ticket out of here. Quick, switch to me so we can take a closer look. Okay. Uh, I've forgotten how to do that. How was I doing it? I thought it was... Oh no, I remember. Derp. I have to stand in this. So then I can be safe. And then it's triangle. There we go. Ooh, I need to invert these flight controls. Oh man, I am definitely inside some kind of space anus right now. Look at this. It's quite a dry spanus. Need to eat some fibre or something. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, we aren't the first ones to have landed here. No. So many. And by the looks of it, they didn't have as much luck as we've had. It's quite an impressive sight. must have survived. We could try to upgrade my shockwave. Then maybe I could clear the tunnel that's separating us. We'll need some energy for that. So activate my AR vision and we'll have a look around. With any luck, we should be able to find some energy. Unlocks ducks. Let's give it a try. 
energy cores, huh? I think this one might yes, be one. Yes, that's okay. an energy core. We could boost my shockwave with that. We've just got to get right up next to it. Okay, and then charge. Do you see the display to the right? The booster will be ready when all three fields are full. Then we'll have three booms. And with that, we should be able to... Three the boobs? What are we, the lady from Total Recall? Okay, up we go. We should probably run a few scans. This is a really good looking game, actually. Compared to uh, a lot of the VR games that are on the market, which uh, kind of rely on more basic graphics. This is uh, this is really pretty, really pretty. I like the shafts of light, go from there. Because this is flat, you're not going to be able to. I need a range extender, oh. but only you can install that, oh and God. I also don't see any around here. You're a range range Let's extender. Let's scan every last bit of this place. Uh, yeah, because you're watching this in flat, you can't really s feel the sense of scale of the the height of the the rocks and the the distance, like how deep this cave is. It also goes right down. Uh, flying around here, the motion flying around is nice and smooth. Or oh, you can speed it up a little bit. Uh, pretty, pretty good so far. Good impression so far. We'll see how it Finally, now we is just have once to we're controlling the human. Remember, we only have three chances. Can I blow it from this side? I wonder. What was this shockwave? X. Okay. R2. There we go. Woohoo! I could get used to this. Okay, Super switch back power. to you and let's find a way out of this cave system. Okay, switch to myself. Let's do this. Let's go, little man. Let's go, you wee ball bag. You can go really fast as the ball, but then you can't run very fast. Nope. Please be careful as you slide down. You don't want to get caught up by this old junk with your injuries. Okay, so avoid... Okay, slide down the ramp and avoid the obstacles. Okay. Oh, wee! <laughs> that was a bit silly. It's great to see you in one piece. Thanks. Uh, I wanted to find a safe place before I told you. But I noticed through our neural network that your vital functions don't look very good. You uh, suffered severe head trauma during the crash. Trauma. Which has led to a severe amnesia. It's actually a miracle that you're still alive. Huh. That's not all. Something has crushed your larynx. Our conversations are going to be a little bit one-sided for a while. Aww. But what's really got me worried at the moment is the blood loss. Your leg is what? badly cut. We'll need a medikit ASAP. It's to beginning to smell of almonds. Of luck, we'll find one in the other capsule wreckage. Let's go. Okay, find a med kit. In a, in another capsule, huh? Well, this thing also acts as a. Uh, As a kind of night vision, almost. Guess we're going to go across this bridge. A little ball. Oh, great! Balancy beam. It's all I need. Some height and a balancy beam. Shit, son. It's really easy. We're going to balance our way over. I'll show you how it's done. Just oh, yeah, it's do easy for I you, you flighty prick. Over sooner than you think. God dang it. Balance over the other side. Compensate. Press X to start balancing. I don't get it. I just stayed really still and pushed forwards while that robot was doing a weird dance. Damn, that was close. It certainly was. Bit of a torture in that ball sack of yours. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Humans. You've got to see this. Press X to examine. That is fascinating. It looks like an archaic culture. 
Mm. If these people are still around somewhere, then we aren't alone. They'll have food and water. We should look for them as soon as we get out of here and have taken care of your leg. Okay. Okay. Oh, we can go there, can we? Okay. Thanks for telling me. Yeah, really, uh, really well presented game so far. I'm, I'm enjoying this. A little bit hand holdy at Come the moment, me. but we are in the tutorial bits, I guess. I would like to guess. know who these people are who have painted this, and above all, what it means. Ugh. That seems to have been painted with blood. With fresh blood. Oh. And my DNA scan says it's human blood. Oh my god. No matter. We have to be careful not to lose more blood. We need the medikit urgently. Yeah. Stop sightseeing, dickhead. Let's go. Got a nice little bridge there. Oh, that's steep. That's steep and deep. Just the way I like it. I don't have any weapons or anything at the moment. Whether they'll give me some at some point, who knows? I'm wondering whether this is going to be more of like a puzzle exploration game rather than a. Uh, uh, shooty fight I'm afraid game. the only way out of the cave takes you over these confidence-inspiring rock shards that are sticking out of the I've wall. I've sharded Take myself. Slow, will you? I sharded. Wonder how long this demo is, says Vandal. I am wondering the same thing. I guess we'll all find out together. Press X to start balancing. Oh god. All right. Just doing a. I mean, we're we're hardly balancing. I'm just pushing. Just pushing right on the D-pad at the moment. That's pretty horrible, though. Pretty high up. I like it. My vision isn't turning with my head, though. With my body, which is what is. Whoa! Ah! 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 Stabby! Ooh. Oh, am I supposed to? Oh, I'm supposed to go past it. Sorry, I knew that. Whoops, I knew that. She almost caught you. It seems like this drone would have gone insane, or someone changed her. But why did she attack you with a syringe? No wonder she was impaled. Not so. New entry in the discovery menu. Someone speared this drone on an iron bar like a shashlik, and it is still active and trying to attack me. Why? There's, there's artifacts to find, there's notes to find, and there seems to be audio logs to find as well to help pad out the story. Quite like a medkit robot. What's this? Hey, what is this? Hmm? It looks like an this audio recording. ID 701. We crashed. No shit. I think I've been unconscious for a while now. All of the instruments are going haywire and showing some unbelievable figures that just can't be right. I like the use of English but voice actors. What's got me really afraid is that my assistant drone just tried to kill me. Oh, no. Which shouldn't be possible. Whoever is listening to this, destroy your assistant drone at the first sign of malfunction. I'm going to try and find a way out of this cave. Oh, Newton. Time to die. Well, at the moment, I'm basically one big malfunction. But I can assure you that I have absolutely no intention of killing you. Uh -oh. Stay where you are! Ooh. No, not uh -oh. again. No, no noise. Okay, I can do that. Stay still, damn it! Uh oh. It's a survivor! A fellow survivor! Finally! If she's female, we can rebuild the human race here on this planet and then we can, you know, start agriculturing and farming and soon planet Earth 2 will be. Oh! Wonder if I can romance the dragon. I think you will die. 
Oh. Is that the end of the demo? Oh. Well, that was quick. <laughs> That's what she said. That's okay. That was pretty good. That was that was pretty good. That was all right. Um, I quite enjoyed that. Um, I hadn't even. I've not even heard of that. But um, yeah, that that's uh, that's a pretty good first impression, to be honest. An interesting story. Good graphics, which is nice. Um, and uh, controls weren't too terrible. There was good smooth move in there. Uh, quite like a bit more control over the inverted pitch on the little drone, but yeah, uh, not bad, not bad. Um, how long was that? It was like th less than 30 minutes, but yeah, the game does have potential. Correct, uh, Vandal. That's what, oh damn it Ian, you beat me to it, says Solreed. Always romance the dragon, says Speedy. Looked promising, says Longhorn. That was fun, says Anmol. Uh, Except for the Robinsons-esque little friend and the increased sense of danger, this is giving me a story about my uncle vibes, says Reckless Rex. It looked pretty and the voice acting was nice. Thumbs up game, says Jacob. Uh, it looked good, but I wanted dragon romancing, says Fruit Bat. Who, does? Who doesn't? The robot is a bit too cla trappy, otherwise good, says Jillbles. Cool, well I'll keep an eye on that one, um, but we've still got like a long time to go. So let's... I'm going to quickly get up for a second um, with all my wires and stuff, annoyingly. And I'm going to walk over to my uh, big box of, of games. And I'm going to pick one at random that we can play for a bit. Oh, okay, this one. This one's going to be interesting. Um, here we are. So we're going to be checking out VR carts, which looks... Like, kind of like Mario Kart mixed with F1, mixed with VR, so i just got to open it. Hopefully I don't have to install it for a very long time. That would be annoying. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. <sighs> this is Race Online with up to five of your friends, create your own look and battle for first place. Okay. Sounds like a racing game to me. <laughs> oh, I hope that didn't turn my console off. Come on, eject. There we go. In you go, in your slot. <sighs> If there's a big install time on this, then uh, unlocks. I'll play some Beat Saber. Back. Right, what do we want? We want VR cards. There we go. All right, VR cards, huh? Options to center the screen. I've never played VR Carts before. I've never seen any reviews of it. I'm at a guess I'm going to say this is going to be mediocre at best. It looks pretty low budget. But you never know. Viewpoint Games. Hello, sirs. I have to update my thumbnail with everything I play on this stream now. Yeah, it's a shame that demo was so short probably means the game's only a like maximum of four hours long but hey ho emp strike will reverse a cart steering okay so it is mario karty mario kart kind of style vr games there that hey, sounds like a good idea on the team welcome to vr Hello. carts hi when you're ready to take your cart for a test drive take a look at the poster in front of you okay what's that there Default controls. Accelerate, brake. I've got a full body. Quit. I might need that. Boost. Fire weapon. Horn. Oh, it's got a horn button. Um, it's not letting me go left or right or anything. 
Settings that three stone. Okay, well, guess we're going straight in then. No, uh, no hanging about with this game. As long as the horn button works, I'll be fine. VR carts, I think I have that for my Google Welcome Daydream. VR carts 101. <laughs> it shit, says Jacob. Simple. Okay. One lap and oh, I can, to how your cart handles. I can see my Stop head in the rear-view mirror, that's kind of cool. Okay. Graphically, it does look a little bit like I'm inside a mobile game at the moment. Uh, very cartoony. Bit kind of Wreck-It Ralph, I guess. Oh, double rainbow, so beautiful. The track feels nice and wide, though. Everything's pretty chunky. Drifting around that corner was pretty cool. I do like the I do like the um, the rear view mirrors on there. That's a, that's a cool addition to the game because uh, you can like physically look into them. Makes you feel more like you're in a car. Also there's a the sound of wind rushing by my ears which helps a little bit. Well done. Well done. This time you'll have some other carts to race against. Also, speed boosts are now available to collect. Just hold down the boost button to use them. Sounds if you like boost one of the guys from corner, South Park. You'll power slide around it, keeping your speed boost up. Boost around the corner. What was the boost button? Oh. Some other cars. There's a honey bear. Oh, fuck. Ah, hit me. Wankers. Right, what's the... Oh, that's the horn. What's boost? Oh. I, okay, I think circle is boost. Do we have a boost meter anywhere? Oh yeah, it's that that blue line there in front of me is the boost meter. Oh, I missed all the things then. But yeah, that's me power sliding around by holding boost. Okay. Great work. This time weapons are weapons active. Weapons are active. So before oh, you yeah. race again, See, I've got a, some kind of weapon system. thing there. Test out your targeting system. Alrighty. Pull down the weapon button to activate the crosshair. What was the move weapon your head button? And the crosshair will move with you. Look at the target, and the crosshair will go green to lock on. Release the weapon button to fire your missile. Uh, forget the weapon button. No. Oh, it's it's X. And I target with looking. You need to hit the okay. remaining targets before the race will begin. Remember. Rival carts will be moving targets, Hello? so you need to track them as you aim. How's she doing? She's a little bit growly, is she? Oh, she's gonna hide under the bed. She got a shaved, a shaved paw. Two shaved paws? Did they forget? Uh, okay, but she's all right apart from being a bit freaked out. Okay, cool. Cat's back from the vets. A little bit, a little bit spaced out by the sounds of things. Right, continue a boff, boff. Here we go. Weapons are now active for you and your opponents. Use them to gain the upper hand. I should gain all of the upper hands. Let's do this. Okay, so we've got boosts still. Absolutely. Pooned it past Honey Bear. Screw you, Honey Bear. Let's, let's slow down there. Let's let one of them overtake me. Okay. Didn't really slow him down that much, but... Oh, a little bit. It slows it down a little bit. Wow. Wow. Final lap. Power slide feels quite cool. I mean, this is this is basic Mario Kart clone racing, um, and nothing more. But eh, semi decent, I guess. I, I'm gonna gonna bet that there's nobody playing online though. He's finished. Yeah, he did.
Shake your head to remove a beehive quickly. Oh my god. Uh, Welcome back. Uh, I'm pressing F to send to some love to Lazy Jane's Kitty now. too. I've unlocked some new features, so have a look around your trailer and check them out. If you get lost, you can look at the tablet on your lap. It'll tell you everything you need to know. Thanks, now, Trey Parker. Race. Okay, we've got online multiplayer. We've got championship. We've got settings. We've got quick race. Customization. Here we go. What kind of customization can we give to Marisa here? Helmet. Paint. Change the paint. Can we? Oh, yeah. Like that. Okay. And then we've got... Oh, okay, I can give him. Oh, well, there's no, 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 nothing to unlock or anything like that. It's just straight up. Well, it's gonna have to be, gonna have to be that one. Save and quit. There we go. So that's my, that's my new character. Character customization very limited. No unlocks. This is definitely um, a budget, a budget title, isn't it? Searching for players. Oh, we're in space now. Can't drive around anywhere. Something tells me we're going to be here for a long time. Bet like a distant server somewhere is just lit up and people are like, holy shit. What the fuck? Oh my God. Nothing, no. We're not going to find anyone. Can I exit out of it, though? Is there a way to back out? Oh, my God, they've not... Oh, there we go. I thought they hadn't built a way to back out of the game. That would have been awkward. Got to go, folks. The numbers are ready. It says nummy numbers. Nummy numbers. Uh, I answer a phone call for work and we switch games. What happened, says Emma Benton. Um, I completed the demo, so we've moved on to to try out some games from my big box of PSVR games. I have a I got sent a box of um, like 19 PlayStation VR games from a publisher called Perp Games, and um, I think most of their games seem to be quite like low budget I mean, they've they seem to have like they've jumped on the vr publishing bandwagon pretty early they do have moss though they have published moss which is a cracker so hopefully like in 2019 perp games will sign a few more different ones but these are very much what i've played so far is very much like um the kind of the beginning the beginnings of vr type games the american dream wasn't that i played american dream last week and that one's kind of newish wasn't oh fuck i've done online again i wasn't a big fan of american dream it was good for about the first hour but the joke kind of wears thin and it's not so technically i made it to the i actually completed that game um off stream and um it's not really a game it's more like an uh, like a ride with some shooting added in. It's basically a socio-political commentary about gun laws in America. Uh, but there's not much to do. Like the last, the end bit, you just sit there and listen to people talk bollocks at you for ages. I was, I was so bored. I was willing for it to end. At least this game's a bit more interactive. But yeah, I think um, uh, the first year of any console... Although PlayStation VR has been about two years now, hasn't it? Um, the first... The end of this year... Is that break? Oh, yeah. So the end of this year, we started to see some really good games come up. Although Moss came out, like, beginning of last year. Either way, um, I think we're going to see some really good improvements. What are those guys doing? on VR games this year. Ah, yeah, he's, he's hit me with a fart gun or something. Yeah, let's boost my way to victory. Oh, I just hit a trap. So did Captain Cool, hey Captain Cool. 
Hey, oi! Hey, what the hell? Come here, dickhead. Oh, man, these guys are whipping my ass. I'm out of uh, boots as well. They're quite aggressive, these drivers. And the Rocky Cup as well. Jesus, who taught you how to drive? Okay, rocket in your pocket. Ah. I'm not getting any... Whoa, oh, I hit a spike trap. Ah, oh, damn it, I hit a spike trap and it's set me up. What the... Oh, I've got a beehive on my face now. I had to shake my head to get the beehives off. Oh, Christ. Uh, two... Yeah, um... So I'm getting like zero. Uh, I think that was a warp zone or something. Zero motion sickness from this. It's quite, quite a comfortable game to play, actually. I don't know how other people will react to it, but uh, you know, newcomers and stuff. But it seems like a pretty sedate, non-vom experience so far. I don't think it's the sort of game that I'd spend a lot of time playing, though. Antoine, Honey Bear, Blue Steel, Hypno Bunny, and Captain Cool. They're the names. Hi. They're the names of the Tother Racers. They were. They absolutely battered me. Came back after 15 minutes and we went from Eden to this, says Admiral. It's correct, correct. <clears throat> oh, finally, a new level. Okay. Let's go, right. Get my boost button mixed up with my attack button. They should be reversed, really. Boost button is circle and attack is X. It'd be more comfortable to have, like, Boost as X and attack as, I don't know, square. You have to hold down your attack button, get within range. What's that? Oh, oh okay. Ah, oh, so that was a uh, that was a warp that warped me to the front of the pack. I'm not more of them, cheers. Alright, let's rock it in him. See you later, dickhead. Stupid B face. Okay, some boosts. Now let's try boosting around the corner. There we go. So you can boost on straights as well, but boosting around corners allows you to take those corners a little bit quicker. I don't know what this power up is. I think it might have been a mine. Oh! I think it was. Oh! Ow! Well, at least my collision knocked another guy off the track. We're being passed by that guy. That was cool. I liked. Um, Spotting him in my rear view mirror and then being able to turn my head to uh, to watch him pass me. That made it feel like I was actually in a cart. Oh shit. But Okay, let's speed up a bit. Get that boost going again. The person in the first position is a real Tricky bugger to catch, huh? The power up I had then, ooh, earlier, was a uh, thing that reversed people's controls, I think. This one, it's a rocket I had. Now I've got, I guess, more boost, was that? So they're not all, all they're not all like traps or weapons. Some of them like bonuses that help you go a bit faster or further. Okay, so I'm going to try and use my rear view mirror. Oh, no. Bad. Okay, don't use your rear view mirror, Ian. Blue steel there. Absolutely. Thrashing. They're going to they're gonna win. They won. Bucks. That's second, though. Not bad. POS. I'm sure that stands for position and not piece of shit, but you never know. Blue Steel won. I'm equal 
with the Blue Steel, being Antoine and Honey Bear and Hypno Bunny and Captain Cool though. Absolutely smashing them. Next track, Castle GP. It's no Mario Kart, is it, Cecil Reed? It's not. It is not. What's free to download on PSVR? Rec Room. Yeah, Rec Room's free to download. Rec Room's pretty good, actually. Loads of stuff to do on Rec Room nowadays as well. Welcome to Castle Islands. Yeah, the, 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 the cup in this is... It's pretty basic. It's pretty basic. I think this would definitely be more fun if you had a bunch of mates in VR playing it, but even then... Um, I think its appeal is going to be slightly limited. The tracks aren't too excited. They basically consist of like 90 degree turns, no hills or jumps or loop de loops. I know that those kind of things are likely to increase nausea, the nausea factor quite a bit, but even so, um, it's literally just handbrake around a 90 degree corner every 10 seconds or so. Pretty, uh, pretty poor animation on the uh, on the power-ups as well. That beehive just goes boop onto someone's head. Not exactly the most. Exciting thing. This, the inside of this courtyard is pretty cool. Ah, oh, shit. Excellent placing of that mine there. Shit, Bob. Ah. Oh. Hey. Oh, look, they, they went into the fart gas. Can you hit my bunny? Oh, I missed the power ups. Oh, I hit my bunny. Dicker. Yeah, screw you. Need to come first in this to secure my first place victory. Oh, oh, need to keep my eyes on the road and just checking my rear view mirror to see if anyone's trying to pass me. You can't see directly behind actually unless you're turning. You can only kind of see if someone is approaching you. Um, and, well, not approaching, but actually about to overtake you. Got a good lead now, I reckon. Just gonna burn all, burn through all my turbo now. Whoop! Nearly hit that. But there we go. Whoop whoop! Ah oh, yeah, suckers. Who won? Ian won. Who lost? Everyone else. Suckers. Look at my big hands. Big hands for a big glands. Wait, what? I'm sorry. Hey, Steve Scoots. What's this? Have you got VR Vandal, says Lazy Jane. And Vandal says, not yet, Lazy Jane, but the more I watch Ian play, the more I want it. If you've never played VR before and you live in the UK, come to EGX Rest. There is, um, there's bound to be some VR games to try at EGX Rest. Bound to be. They all got boosts and trundled off without me. Let's see what power up I can get. Shield. Ah. Well the shield's no good. It's no good activating the shield once you've already fallen foul of a power up, Higton. It's kind of it's also quite hard, I guess, to know when a power up is coming. You don't get too much you don't get any kind of indicators. As far as I can tell. Oh. 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 Like you might do in Mario Kart. Hey, hey, hey! Honey, there's a right prick. Here we 
Okay, what position am I in? Second. Okay. This beehive's got your name on it. Oh. That wall had my name on it. Oh, see? Ah, beehive for you. Beehive, dickhead. Okay, so we've got a bit of catching up to do. Didn't help that I missed another power up. So very low on boost. Oh, so having that on that corner. Another wheel. Lots of hazards on the floor. Okay, activate some boost. Got a chunk of boost. Catch up with you. Oh, a shield. It's not going to do much. Just got a boost. Boy, hypno bunny. No! Beehive. This beehive's for you, dickhead. Ha ha! Yes! First place. Such a satisfying win there. Woohoo! Woo All those people right at the back. Yeah, you should be shaking your head. Good shit. Winner! Use your wing mirrors to help block opponents and defend your track position. Well, okay then. Uh, well, that was the cup, was it? So, hmm. I think I've pretty much, I, 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 do you know what? Don't really want to play anymore, VR. VR carts, what time is it? We've got about an hour left, hmm. I could try another game out of my big box. Big box of games. People want to see a different game? Or do you want to see more VR cards? Oh, a loot's message came in. I haven't been able to read any loot's messages. What does it say? What does it say? It says. See if I can read it quick enough. This loot is for Titchy. Too bad I couldn't get a la cat's loot again, lol, says Reckless Rex. Why, thank you. Yes, for a different game. Okay. All right, we'll try a different game. I'm going to do Beat Saber last, Jill Balls. Because Beat Saber's very tiring. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to do that last. So I don't sweat to death. Apologies for the uh, tracksuit groin cam. Uh, so we eject this. Thank you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. So we're going to go around here. To my big box of games, what's the next one we're pulling out here? Moss. Can't do Moss. Uh, can't do Apex Construct. Because I've streamed Apex Construct. Wasn't a, a massive fan of Apex Construct. Alright, I've not played nor heard of this one. This one looks like it's going to be a little bit... It looks like it might be a little bit rubbish, this one as well. But we'll give it a go. Uh, it's called Operation Warcade. The nostalgia of the 80s, the technology of today. Ooh, oh, oh, okay, nostalgia of the 80s. That's that's uh, that's appealed to me. You can use two PlayStation Move controllers. Oh, oh, it's aim compatible. Oh, okay. Oh, well, there you go. Don't judge a book by its cover. Maybe this is going to be fun after all. If I don't smash everything. Chances are my aim controller's not charged, but let's find out, huh? Oh, fully charged. Well, I never, Trevor. Well, I never. What are people doing? Uh, yeah, this is Operation Warcade. Let's see how this goes. Tracksuit, groin cam. Where's me? Remote, says 
Jacob. I don't think I have one. Need some more subscribers to add some more remotes. Okay, here we go. This is Operation Warcade. Let's have a look and see how we do. Where's my... There it is. How long have we got? Uh, installed very quickly. Nice, 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 nice. Start. Oh. No, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Copying? Bloody hell. Alright, what's everyone saying? Ace Combat 7, is that the full game, says Cluedo? It sure is. I'm not allowed to show it to you, though. It's going to be uh, this week's Ian's VR Corner video, uh, which should be uh, pretty exciting. Isn't this the really bad game I've heard about, says Cluedo? Who knows? We'll find out in a second, I'm sure. So, Ian, the people are wondering, when are googly eyes going on the headset? I don't have any googly eyes, I'm afraid. So, not in the near future. What in the hell? I love this X-Media bar, LMO. This is the X-Media bar for um, Accountancy Plus. The very weird PlayStation VR game from uh, the makers of uh, Rick and Morty. Do, 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 do. Listen, listen, googly eyes for your helmet. Make us happy, says Kate Lilly. I'll look into it. I feel like that would make my beautiful VR look silly. And we don't need VR looking any more silly than it already does. <laughs> All right. You got game? We've got game here. Press the trigger to continue. Loading. Loading. It's got like a Z old like arcade font for the loading, which is nice. There you go. Operation Warcade. Will it be good or will it be warful? Ah. Let's find out. Oh, sorry if this rustles the mic. I've got so I can hear the games. I have in ear headphones on, and then I have this mic here in front of me this is like my i used to have a mic on a table like if you've been watching my streams for a long time i used to stream vr games with a mic on the table but i was always knocking that mic over so okay so i'm in a really crappy video game arcade i kind of want to play lander boob lander boog Lander 8009, and there's Off-Road Paradise, Perfect Angle is there, Final Soccer, what else have we got, can't read any others, what's going on over here, goes proper having a go at his girlfriend, chill out dickhead, Bouncer looks like he's about to step in though, he's got a twin there, Okay, so select operation, operation store, or oh, customization, what's this? So we can customize weapons with unlocks. Select operation. Dance. We can change the music. Epic, settings, language English, vibration on, delete data. That is select a lot operation. of settings. The arcade cabinet moves slightly, which is a bit weird. Shot the screen. Okay, here we go. Select mission. 
Desert Incursion. No death, arcade killer, explosive kills. Complete this level without retries. Kill two soldiers in immersion points. Kill three soldiers with grenades. I hope it's going to tell me what buttons do what. Starting storm operation. Okay, well, there's no need for the thumbsticks. They're tiny. Ah, ah. Where the fuck am I in? So it's like Operation Wolf. If Operation Wolf was shooting like little mini army men. Ha <laughs> ha! Shut your fucking wheels off, dickhead! I mean, it does what it says on the tin. It's not going to win any awards for, like, ultra gameplay or anything, but... the oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, I've... I'm in the... So it's put me now directly into the action, which is kind of cool. You don't have to bother aiming down the sights or anything, because you've got a constant laser uh, pointing out where the bullets are, which is... Uh, kind of... Oh, there, that's how you grenade. Kind of defeats the object, I guess, of... of um, using the aim controller to aim and stuff. I mean, there's no aiming down sights if you've got a laser. Oh, no, I'm in a... I, mean, I like the way they've mixed it up a little bit. Graphics are bad. The interior of this car... I mean, compare the interior of this car to the interior of the drop pod in uh, Eden and you know you can kind of you can definitely see the difference it's very very simplistic it's a sort of game that you could probably play you could probably give to someone who's new to VR to play so they get an idea of like the the depth of VR but really it's Pretty, pretty basic. I like the way you can continue shooting their little rag dolly bodies. Level clear. Ugh, that was weird. Goes flat there. That's a bit jarring. Um, accuracy twenty percent. Bobbins passed, passed. Cool. Oh. Alright, cool. I didn't pass it, did I? Rio. Select operation. So you go around six times, I guess. We're going to Rio next. How's everyone in the comments enjoying this game? Looks very low budget. At least the tracking isn't bad, says Amal. Yeah, no, the tracking's fine. No problems with the tracking. Anything is better than VR Kart, says Dougie. Uh, do you not like VR Kart, Dougie? Hi, everybody. Hey, Josh Am. Music sounds like a poor man's Crystal Maze theme, says Craig Berry. We've got 96 people watching now. Hello, everyone. Welcome. To platform 32. I'm Ian from Eurogamer. Hello. <laughs> Didn't know she was behind me. Is anyone else watching? Um, and uh, this is my personal YouTube channel if you haven't seen it before. Uh, I do VR streams every Tuesday or Thursday, depending on when I'm in the office or at press events. I do retro streams every Wednesday. I do Battle Royale streams on Monday, and I do operations. Drunken Battle Royale streams on a Friday, because I'm a lad. Oh, look at these guys. Am I in a helicopter or something there? Yeah, there's no reloading of the guns. I kind of wish maybe there was a bit more... a little bit more functionality with the, the guns, like a button to pop out a magazine or, or something, but... Missed the bomb, I think. 
Awesome. Oh, oh, oh. These people are attacking from both sides. I, I hope one of these isn't like friendly troops. <laughs> ah! It's funny how those um, wheels pop off. My like little kids' toys. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a drone. Got a. What the? What's going on with that tower? Fuck your wheels. In the grand scheme of things, this is this is pretty bum. I could not imagine. Well, it's uh, it's kind of fun to dick around in a little bit. I definitely could not imagine. Um, is having much long-lasting replayability. It's it's very very Special basic. Grenades. grenades! I like the arcadey voice though. Why is there like a snowflake on my gun? Oh, okay. I've got ice grenades. Where's the drone? I can hear a drone. Couldn't see it though. Back into the action on the floor. Oh! <laughs> I'd like to be able to pump that shotgun myself. Those weird ninja guys running at me, I guess. This is a very, this is a very odd one. This is, this definitely reminds me of those, some of the weird low budget, um, like South Asian games I've played, like Paper Dolls. Paper Dolls is, uh, is published by Perp Games. Level cleared. I actually, I've been quite cruel about, pa I was quite cruel about Paper Dolls, so I'm surprised Perp Games actually sent me some free stuff. Cool. Laser targeting. The targeting reticle will change when you aim at an enemy or a special. Okay. Select operation. Oh, so I need to get more stars to unlock missions. I see. High points. Kill ten soldiers in immersion points. That must be the. Bits where you go first person in the uh, kill three soldiers with the rocket launcher. Achieve a three times kill streak. Still there, are you? Catch your death in that outfit. Starting storm operation. Oh. Same level. Should I Special grenades. Special grenades. Okay, we're in, a, in an immersion point again. I mean, is it the same level or is it just heavy reuse of the same assets? Oh, rocket launcher. Rocket launcher. Killing spree! Oop. Outstanding. Yeah, outstanding. There's three. Boff. This is pretty dumb, this game. It's pretty dumb, but I don't hate it. <laughs> it's just a bit it's just a bit shoddy. Maybe that's why. Maybe I maybe I feel a certain affinity to it. You don't even have to hold this with two hands. There's no point to holding it with two hands, because you don't have uh oh actually I could 
There is a little bit of a point holding it with two hands because you fire a grenade with the button down here. I mean, fair play to it having move controller support. Not many games bother. Okay, yeah, you went flying. That's the... Oh, we're... So... When we're playing in a big CRT... Oh, no, that's me! I'm just a head and a gun. I'm just a head and a gun. Having some fun. What's that? Minigun. Rah! Rah! Knock down your tower! Fuck your helicopter! Rah! Rah! Operation Porcade, more like. Uh, Pretty sure I fought in buildings like that in Sanok. Who's shooting? You, dickhead. My wheels fuel. Boom! Absolutely mullered those guys. But it's just basically the same level over and over again. It's the gas. This is some kind of secret battle royale game that we don't know about. Fucking hell. Level oh, cleared. Level cleared. This game is very, very silly. Past, past, past. Awesome. Awesome. Titanium Uzi. Extra grenades. Why would I not turn all of these on, huh? You now have six grenades. Good. Marine incursion. Select operation. How many? Got seven stars. Okay. Is this going to be any different? If I got flippers, kill five soldiers with a shotgun, destroy three boats in an immersion point, destroy two boats using grenades. Okay, so I'm going to have to dual, dual hold with my controller. Starting real operation. Uh, Look at the landscape there. Look at those trees. I think even I could make better trees. What's I face we destroying with grenades, boats? Get rid of this minigun first before I can do go uh, goats? Boats. Boats with grenades equals goats. In my lingo. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh. Oh, that death comes fast in Operation War Cave. Oh. Killing, spree. Killing spree! Can't remember what I had to do in Operation in the Immersion Zone. Haha! <laughs> I got a little guy driving. Can I kill him? Oh, I can. Awesome! This game's pretty badly made. Oh, a double kill on the boat. Boaty double kill. Special grenade. <laughs> Such a limp. Limp explosion. Bullet time. Bullet time? What if I do? Clonk, clink, clonk. Clonk, clink, clonk. Sounds like the, the sound of a helicopter crashing. Sounds like someone dropping some pots and pans in the kitchen by accident. It's pretty... Yeah. The amusement is wearing thin already. Just this same old shit over and over again, isn't it? Mm. It's fun to laugh at it because it's a bit shit, but apart from that. Ugh. Ooh. 
Trains. Red train. Red train. Ah, shit. Didn't even spot that stupid plane coming in at me. Level cleared. Bloody hell. Level cleared. Makes me want a House of the Dead VR game, but not done cheap, please, as Castaway DC. Oh, yeah, indeed. What time is it? Okay, I'll do one more level of this. And then we'll go on to Beat Saber. Awesome. Awesome. So I could do Desert Liberation. Select operation. But uh, let's go Jafar. Near Jafar, wherever you are. No death, arcade killer, shotgunner. Eight soldiers in immersion points, seven soldiers with a shotgun. Looks like I'm dual wielding there. I guess you can dual wield in this game if you have two if you play Starting with two move Jaffar controllers. Operation. Going straight into an immersion zone. No messing around here. Woo! So immersive. Well blow me if I'm not super immersed. So much immerse. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Can't shoot through the leaves. All the invisible walls around the leaves. That's pretty stupid. <laughs> not, not sure. I think kind of ruined the immersion zone there, video gam. Your windows. I've already worked out where my health is. Oh, immersion zone coming up, ladies and gents. <laughs> Some incredibly dumb shit right there. the bullet away with my gun. So immersion. Blah. Having a lot of fun smashing the windows. There we go. Time for more immersive. I like how when you kill people, it makes their bullets dissolve. This game would be better if it was just me going around shooting windows. Special grenades! Special grenades! Have some of that then. Muller time! Muller time! Mueller time? Let's have some Mueller time, please. T! Shoot his little limp dead body. Level cleared. Oh, it's always a bit of a jolt when it does that. 
Level cleared. Okay, so Operation Warcade there. Ultra basic shooter. Um, the sort of thing you'd see on a... Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Hello. And you. He's got a beard made out of shoe polish or something. Um, yeah, it's the sort of game you'd expect to see on a platform like this when it first comes out when people are rushing to capitalise on it by pushing out any old shit. Um, it's, I guess it'd be alright for like on, if it was on sale for like four quid. But I wouldn't recommend anyone rush out and buy it to be honest. Don't know what I had more fun with though actually. This or VR carts. Both were kind of like basic idea done as basic as possible so it just doesn't last the the enjoyment doesn't stick around what does that do nothing nothing so uh yeah what time is it i guess it's some beat saber time huh the other arcade games look better says vandal <laughs> You've got a fan club in says Speedy. Hurrah! It's like a martial arts movie where they wait patiently t for their turn to attack, says Dougie. Yeah, it is a bit. It'll be alright for free, says Carl Richardson. Yeah. yeah it'll be alright for free, but... Uh, this isn't going to sell any... Uh, this isn't going to sell any consoles, that's for sure. Right, where are my move controllers? I'm going to need them. I'm going to need to adjust my cables because I don't want to get wrapped up in them. We're going to go in for some beat saberings. I'm wearing a jumper. I'm going to get hot. Don't swoon anyone. I've got my bare arms out. Okay, here we go. It's the price, it's the main event. I'm gonna have to move my um my monitor really far away now. So I don't hit it. So I'm gonna be even less good at reading your comments now. Oh you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Oh, you fucker. Right. Cable, stay behind me. Okay. I've read it. I've 100% I've read it. I've read it so many times. I've stretched and everything. I don't remember ever having to sit and wait this long for the game to start. I bloody I've read it. Continue, there we go. Fucking hell. Fucking hell game. Right, free play. Oh, shall I I've done rum and bass loads. Let's let's try this one. Uh, so this is like a, a new song for the PlayStation VR uh, version. I think it's on the PC version too, but it's only recently come on. So I've been working on getting my like, scores a bit higher in this game. And the way you get higher scores is by doing bigger swings of the sword. So, like, kind of, I guess, combining the the swings, so keeping them moving I think, and also, oh, hit the wrong block, hitting close to the centre you get more chops, so, but the ones where you get a hundred or, for a chop are the ones you kind of want to aim for. Oh, 
Oh. That's a cut back. I don't know what I'm saying, it's in Korea or something. Hey. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Tracking issues going on with my lightsabers, yeah? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, wrong one. Showing off. One of these days I'll have to do a stand-up stream of this. Sitting down is definitely not the best place, uh, way to play this game. And I am hitting a couple of things. I think I hit my chair and the table in front of me during that last bit. I might reposition my PlayStation camera quickly after this, just to get it to point a little bit closer to the floor. Because it seems like it's losing its tracking when, whoa, when I go for the lower ones. Fuck. There was, there was some a little bit of tracking and things going on there. It never normally loses track. Ah, yeah, my PlayStation camera is pointing up quite high, actually. So I've pointed it more down towards my legs. So hopefully... Oops. Don't want to sit on that too much. Hopefully that'll, uh, that'll be a little bit better. Uh, it is much better standing up to Saul Reed. Yeah, the only way I can play this stood up is if I move this sofa out of the way. And it's not just moving the sofa, it's all the boxes I've got under the sofa as well. I've got hundreds of boxes of Spectrum games under the sofa. <sighs> Let's go for the big one, huh? See how well I can do on the big one. Let's have a quick drink over here. This is a six minute beast. My highest score is 600,480. Can I beat that? Let's find out. What's going to make a hiccup? All right. Let's give it a go. Just uh, do some Beat Saber exercises quickly. All right. Ooh. Fuck, sorry. <clears throat> Great start. Yeah, play hard. Yeah. Buff, 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 buff. This is where you can keep it going. You can really get the swings in with this one. Mm. I like doing that. <laughs> no problem. Oh, problem. <laughs> So I've done one fuck up already. We'll be fine. Yeah. Oh, 
fucked it. already can feel I'm not going to break my score today. Pretty chill at the moment. Nothing to worry about, huh? Fuck. Yeah, relaxed. Zip, 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 zip. Gentle. Gentle moves. Nice ones down the middle. Fuck, wrong way. I knew I was I knew I was cutting that one the wrong way as soon as I swung for it. Is it hot in here or is it just me? It's definitely hot in here. It's my dream to one day be able to do this one without fucking it up. So quite a well-timed fuck up there. Glad this is nearly over, huh? Ooh. It would be brutal if there was still loads more to come. Yeah, I fucked it. This is chill. Oh, this one. Still going. Oh, glad this is over. That was knackering. What? Oh, fuck. Yes, I beat my score. Holy shit. All right. Oh, needs a little drink after that one. 
Oh, my word. So fast, this fruit bat. Oh, God, yeah. Let's have a little... little drinky drink. This is certainly one of the best ways to work off mince pies, says Dragon Brother. Indeed, indeed. Oh, dear me. Well, I didn't think I'd beat my um, uh, my high score there. Bots, huh? Mm. Only Mr. Eleven says Pete Douglas. Well done, old man Higdon says Ian Pandit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. There's still, there's still power in these old man's lightsaber bones. So far, okay. So we done that one. All right. Um. So, Rum and Bass, Angel Voices, and Pop Stars, probably the ones I play the most. Um. Let's go level insane. Sounds quite. I don't seem to have a high score on it. So, uh, that'll be easy to beat my high score then, wouldn't it? My score is 191,000. I can beat you, Jamesy. Okay, where's my controller? I like rock music, I do. Sneaky ones that are close together but change direction are the ones that get me. And those ones where they put them, they do a little cheeky block on the wrong side of the track and then you're like, bust that. Uh -huh. I think I'm hitting those with my, I think I'm waiting too long and hitting them with the hilt of my sabre, which is why those are failing. Oh shit. Let's go. This is a lot of dodging in this one. Fuck. I like the ones where you can really get a, a rhythm going. This one maybe. This part. Fuck! Whoops. Was that it? Oh, that was a very quick song. That was super quick. How long's that? 1 minute 50. Let's do that again. I can do better than that. Um, yeah, not not a huge fan of this track to be honest. I like the crunchy guitars, but it doesn't really feel like you're doing a crazy lightsaber dance like some of the others do.
Boom! None missed. Rank S. That's, I think that's my first ever rank S. Full combo there. Alrighty. Uh, no, we're near the top. They must get higher scores because they must use modifiers and stuff. But yeah, it's my first rank S, that one. Oh, I just need to de-steam my eyeballs a bit in between each one. I think I'll do one more song. And then I'm going to get to Fook out of here. Still got my Connect Kung Fu game, says Dougie. I liked that Connect Kung Fu game. I, I did a video on it when it was on the PlayStation, uh, the Xbox 360 with just the shitty Xbox 360 camera. Is S good, uh, says Kyle Richardson. Yeah, it's like special rank. It's like, goes like, worst is D, C, B, A, S, double S. Yeah, you're perfect beating, says Kate Lily. Why, thank you. Right. <coughs> Someone suggest a song while I'm having a drink. Suggest a song for me to do as my fi finale. Ah. Oh, dear me. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh. Ooh. God damn. <clears throat> well, unlucky Theresa May. Sorry, I was just looking at the news. Okay. Rum and bass. I like a hundred dollars. Turn me on. Track, I need you. Saul Reed knows this game quite well. Let's do Saul Reed's suggestion. See how well I can do. See if I've even uh, done I need you before. I probably have. I need you. I haven't. Have I done it on normal? I've done it on normal. Okay, here we go. Final, final showdown. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I like this one. Yeah, that's uh, some satisfying cuts there. Might have told you this before, but I bloody love this game. <laughs> Little cheeky change direction now, you naughty game. So if this is a real lightsaber, I'd have chop my own head off ages ago. Close ones there. Oh, fuck. Cheeky. Oh, oh that's really throwing me. They chucked in some real, <laughs> real wide apart opposites there. That's going to hurt my final score. Oh my god. I'm going to look into the logistics of streaming this at rest. On stage, full body. Not bad. Hey, rank. 216,000, I mean, I I don't have much to compare that to, but yeah, what about that? Full body stream of this at rest? That might be quite fun. 
Oh, that did get complicated. Right, that's me done for the night. I think I need to go and have a little lie down, to be honest. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching this um, this uh, a huge stream that covered four different games. Um, let's run them down. Eden Tomorrow demo looks very promising indeed, actually. I have um, didn't know what to expect from that. Seems like it's going to be pretty cool... Um, well-produced, story-driven puzzle game, maybe. It didn't really give me much idea what the um, gameplay is going to be like. Hopefully it's not too much just walking around following ball man's orders. Hopefully there will be a bit of action or some puzzles or whatever. Uh, it was literally the first 25 minutes or so that we did, so, you know. At least we know it's well presented and it looks good and sounds good and stuff like that. Um, VR Kart, very basic Mario Kart clone. Didn't really hold my attention for very long. Operation Warcade, very basic shooter, badly made. Um, graphically, at least. Um, I don't know, probably not recommended that one. And then, of course, Beat Saber, which is just a freaking beast, y'all. So, yeah, I'm going to go and give treats, uh, Chichi some treats and snuggles from you guys, uh, as Kate Lilly says. Thank you very much. Uh, if you did uh, enjoy this... Uh, is it? I wonder if it's possible to act some, attach some red and pe blue paper lightsabers to the move controls for rest, so people in the audience can see the swords too. Uh, unfortunately, that would probably stop the balls from being seen, so uh, no chance. And I'd keep hitting myself in the head. Uh, I'll have to. I have to look into it. It's not something I could probably stand up and stream for an hour, and I'm not sure Johnny and Aoife would be up for looking like idiots for that long either but maybe it's a audience participation thing i can do anyway i need to I haven't done any planning for any of the games at res yet i've just got the stage set up uh sorted basically so we know where it's going to be kind of know what tech we need and stuff so it's plenty of time to sort it out well there isn't there's like two months but still uh yeah thank you very much if you enjoyed this vr stream there'll be more next tuesday and or wednesday depending on when i'm out and about um, probably Tuesday, actually. Uh, yeah, it might be Tuesday, because I think on Thursday I'm going to the Resident Evil escape room experience thing, which should be good fun. Um, anything else? Like and subscribe. Have a lovely day. Thanks, mods. See you soon. <laughs> oh, I'm knackered. Bye. <laughs>